So I have a massive organization and storage issue with all of my 3D printing and more specifically all of the filament that I have that's just scattered all over the place and behind me is part of that solution. Now I've got this great long entryway here into the main portion of my studio that I do most of my recording and 3D printing and I'm not really actively using this back wall here and I have a really nice long opening on both sides of the thermostat there so I figured why not see if I can use that rep rack system that I've seen so much of online and 3D print some of the parts and get that up on the wall. And one of the best things is that you can 3D print a majority of the parts that you're gonna need for these wall hanging accessories. So you're gonna need a 3D printed cleat or if you wanted to, you could actually use wood and create a cleat version of that, a board that will run the entire length. But he's also provided the printable version here and you're gonna need the actual rack that is gonna hook directly in to the cleat system here. Additionally, I went off to Lowe's and picked up some of the half inch metal conduit which is 10 feet long and just so happens to fit perfectly in the one space that I have there. So I'm gonna be able to do multiple rows. So I need six of these rods in total. And I also needed to pick up some screws for the assembly as well as mounting of those cleats to the wall. And thankfully I was able to fit these 10 feet long metal rods into the back of my Tesla. I was not expecting that to fit properly without it sticking out the back, but I managed to get it all in there. Now what I'm gonna do on my wall is measure out and find all of the stud locations and start marking those because that's where I'm going to be installing the cleats directly into the studs. Additionally, I'm using a laser level to help make sure that everything is level throughout this entire process. And then it's just a matter of installing all of them. But I should also mention that you're going to need to 3D print a whole bunch of these. And I'm using Pet G for the most part for all of these. Printed them mostly on my Bamboo Lab 3D printers. And I printed a few over on the Prusas and over on my Neptune 4 3D printers. And since I'm installing these directly against the studs in the wall, I'm going to need eight of the cleats and then eight of those racks for each of the rows. So in total, I need 24 of everything. All right, so we got all of the cleats installed. And let me tell you, it's much easier if you're installing these on top of each other to make sure to go vertically up when installing them versus horizontally, like I started with that first row. This way, if you go straight up, you're ensuring that all of them are in the exact same position. I'm sure there's probably some more efficient ways to do this, but it worked pretty well. I used that laser level from Harbor Freight that came in extremely helpful with this whole installation process. And now that we've finished installing all the 3D printed cleats behind me, we can now start the process of putting in the 3D printed brackets into each and every one of those cleats. Now, when it comes to installing those conduit pipes, I just kind of slid them through the openings and held down those brackets as best I could while sliding them through the first initial rows. Now, since these are 10 feet long, it got drastically easier the further I went along and I was doing a twisting motion to try and help ease some of the tension when running the rod through the hole. And just like that, I now have three 10 foot rows of filament storage ready to hold that filament. And one thing I'm going to have to consider at some point here is organizing this in a way that's more easily accessible. I don't know if I'm going to do this by color or filament type. I mostly print with PLA, sometimes with PETG, sometimes with TPU. So I don't have a whole lot of those particular types of filament, but I have an absolute ton of varieties of PLA. So having places to properly store that and organize, I'll have to figure out some sort of system for this. One of the awesome things about RepCords files is that they are open source and completely configurable and moddable. And there has been a ton of different mods made and and shared over on printables for the rep rack system. And I went off and printed these end caps here to help make the ends of the racks look a little bit nicer. It took a bit longer than I was anticipating loading up all of the filament or even just finding all of the random scattered amounts of filament here in the studio, but so excited to have this up and in place and think it looks absolutely amazing. Highly recommend this project for you. I think it's relatively affordable depending on your budget and your, your needs for the amount of filament that you need to store. This in total is allowing me to store 43 rolls of filament per rack here, which is just incredible. So I can do a little bit of math and see 
that with each row, on average, it it's about two pounds or so, two pounds, 10 ounces for a roll of filament. And on each row, I should be able to hold about 113 pounds. And in total, I'm looking at almost 340 pounds worth of filament storage here over on the wall. And looking at a quick cost breakdown, I spent about $55 on parts over at Lowe's for the rods and any screws that I needed to mount these all in place. And when it comes to the filament that I used, I ended up using Pet G for this and I used about three rolls of filament uh, for these. And I, I still have some left over, so I didn't even use all three of the rolls there. And I spent about $70 on Pet G for this project. And in total, it was about $125 dollars for me to build this along with some time and uh, just getting everything organized here. But I, if you're interested in these, I will definitely have links to this project down below. I highly recommend this, especially if you have a whole bunch of different filaments laying around, scattered around your place, taking up all sorts of space. Now I at least have some semblance of a dedicated space for this. I could easily get away with a fourth row here and I might even consider doing that very soon. But hey, thanks so much for watching. I want to say a big, huge thank you to all my Patreon supporters as well for your continued support support of me making content here on the channel. If you're interested in things like my 3D printer settings, you can find those over in my Patreon. But let me know what you think about the rep cord, uh, yeah, the rep rack here, and if there are any add-ons that you think I should consider for this particular project. Hey, thanks so much for watching you all, and I'll see you next time.